Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to St. James and our Noontime Prayers. Today, we're continuing with our Lenten meditations by the Episcopal Reef and Development. Before we begin, let's take a few moments of quiet to settle our minds and hearts and to prepare us for our prayer time together. Our opening prayer is to call it for this coming Sunday, the fifth Sunday in Lent. Let us pray. Almighty God, you alone can bring into order the unruly wills and afflictions of sinners. Grant your people grace to love what you command and desire what you promise. That among the swift and varied changes of the world, our hearts may surely be fixed where true joys are to be found. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today's scripture reading is from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26. Be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Today's Lenten meditation is by Willie Bennett. My daughter came home from kindergarten one day crying because she wasn't white. She had picked up that white is better. Why can't I be white? This brought back memories of my childhood, growing up in the first integrated class in my school, and it made me angry. I was angry that I could not protect my daughters from a culture where black is perceived as bad. But mostly, I was angry because no matter what I did, I could never give my daughters the opportunities and wealth that their white counterparts received simply because of history. Society would penalize and blame them for the disparity. As Marvin Gaye said, the situation makes me want to holler and throw up my hands in defeat and frustration. I wanted to just give in to anger and vent on the world. But I had to stop. The still small voice in my spirit reminded me that being angry was okay. But how was I using it? When it comes to race, how many times have we given up, stopped trying, or refused to forgive? In this season of Lent, let us repent of the anger that leads to hate, stereotyping, and social or rational laziness. Let us embrace an anger that leads to justice, radical engagement, and truth-telling inside a fierce rationality. We cannot give up on each other because Christ did not give up on us. Now, let us say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give, us our, and give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give, 
and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so, so move every human heart that the barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease. That our divisions being healed may we live in justice and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. This concludes today's noontime prayers. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.